Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and pleasure as the Secretary General of ASEAN Interparliamentary Assembly, IPA, to address the 10th Nevsky International Ecological Congress. It is unfortunate that I am not able to be there in person with all of you at St. Petersburg, but I would like to extend my utmost gratitude for the invitation to participate in today's auspicious event. The past decades of unpredictable pattern and extreme global weather events have shown us that climate change is real and that we stand at the forefront of a new era in the conservation and sustainability of our planet. We are facing the impact of climate and environmental challenges that are becoming more severe and complex as we approach the future. Inevitably, this will result in issues relating to economic difficulties, food security which will slow down our economic growth and making poverty reduction more challenging. Indeed, it requires a greater collective and conscientious effort to mitigate the effects, preserve biodiversity and safeguard our planet for generations to come. And standing here on behalf of AIPA, we have a crucial role to take every action as legislative bodies, parliaments have responsibility to ensure the preservation, conservation and sustainable use of our planet's natural resources. In IPA, environment is one of the key issues discussed by our members and thus included as one of our priorities in our 2023-2030 strategic plan. And climate change and environmental sustainability were also highlighted in the IPA message delivered to ASEAN leaders during ASEAN IPA Leaders Interface at the 42nd ASEAN Summit just two weeks ago. And let me reiterate the IPA message that was delivered during the interface with leaders, highlighting governments and parliaments, the executives and legislatives are required to work closely together more than ever in responding to the complex challenges facing the nations and the people. The accountability of obligations and commitments made under international environmental agreements needs to be further reinforced and through parliamentary oversight function to honour agreements made and adherence to valuable environmental standards. Excellency ladies and gentlemen, IPA is determined to provide concrete parliamentary contribution and open for collaboration with potential parties to speed climate action. So let today be the beginning of a new decade, one wherein we, parliamentarians, parliamentary bodies and organisations, make a concrete contribution to securing a better future for all. And I wish you all a successful meeting. Thank you.